everybody. I am Ashley and we are back again for another episode of the Flirt Weekly Yoga Vlog. Today I am here with my new friend Kayla. She's pretty awesome. We organize awesome things together. Or we're starting to. It's going to be a good year. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the pose that uh, we're going to show today, um, it's a little bit off from the series uh, of poses that um, we've been working on to build up to a sequence, uh, but I wanted to do this pose in particular. We're going to do Happy Baby Pose or Ananda Balasana, um, and it's because it is Kayla's least favorite pose. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not just trying to be a super jerk. Um, I believe that the poses that are our least favorites are the ones that maybe we sh would get the most benefit from. Um, and a lot of times we dislike a certain pose because of the way that it was taught to us or the way that we think the pose should look. Um, I know I, I still do this sometimes. I get really frustrated with myself um, when I can't get into certain poses. Uh, when you know it's it's not the po or it's not my body that's that's the problem. Um, it's just that you know it requires a different variation of the pose. So whenever I'm working with somebody who says they hate this pose or they don't like a certain pose, um, I always invite them to try a different a couple different modifications of the posture, which are really just like the perfect version of a posture for your body. Um, so we're going to do, we're going to do happy baby pose because Kaylee doesn't like it, <laughs> but I think that maybe she kind of liked the variation that we're going to do. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. We should maybe talk to her. I can't speak for Kayla. So I'm going to let Kayla introduce herself and tell you a little bit about what yoga has done for her and maybe a bit about what we were talking about with bodies and poses and all that fun stuff. So I'm Kayla. I've been experimenting on my own with yoga for about three years, I'd say. Um, I never took a structured yoga class until about a year ago and I found it really really helpful in terms of becoming more aware of my body and aware of the things that my body could do and to this day that still um yoga still gives me those those benefits yeah that's super rad i was just on a, a training run earlier like i told you and the person i was running with we were talking about that same thing like <laughs> the things that like your body can do and yeah. appreciating it for what it can do. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. As opposed to things like how it looks. Yeah. Yeah. Super rad. Super yeah. important. <laughs> cool. Um, all right. So let's do some Ananda Balasana. Okay. And FYI, Ananda means bliss. So okay. like blissful, Great. blissful child's pose is basically what that is. Right. Um, put it on your back. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> uh, we're going to do um, a variation, or Kayla's going to help demonstrate a variation of, uh, of this posture, um, a couple different variations, and take it at your own pace. If you are pregnant, um, I suggest maybe skipping this particular posture. Um, if you've got knee injuries, um, or you know you find that this is very painful with the hips, we're going to do a variation of the pose with a strap. So, um, you know, taking things to your edge is really great, but once you move from like slight discomfort into pain, that's when I invite people to stop. Um, and then if you've got neck injuries, just to um, you know take it easy, be gentle with yourself, and um, you know try like a folded blanket or maybe like a small pillow under your head just to support yourself. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna move off of Kayla's mat now. <laughs> um, cool. All right, and Kayla, it's okay if I give you physical adjustments? Yes. Awesome. We like to promote consent. Yes, in absolutely. Yoga every time. <laughs> uh, I say that every week. Okay, cool. So Kayla is um, allowed out on her back here. Uh, so this is a great way to come into happy baby pose. A lot of people like to do this posture at the end of a practice. Um, 
I mean, hence the name Blissful Child's Pose. So, you know, you're already in that like yoga blissed out space. So a really great way to end off a practice before going into Savasana. Um, I'm going to get Kayla here. We flipped around, so the keys are going to be a little bit different. Uh, I'm actually going to get you, Kayla, to um, extend your spine as long as you can. So take a nice deep inhale through the nose. And as you slowly exhale, see how long you can get your spine on the mat. Awesome. Maybe even just tuck the tailbone a little bit so that lower back, that sacral area, flattens out on the mat. And see if you can extend it towards that window wall. And then I'm going to get you to tuck your chin slightly and extend the crown of the head towards, there's an orange wall behind her there. Awesome. Now Kayla's getting nice and long through the spine. And then I'm going to get you, Kayla, to root down especially through that left foot. So spread those toes really, really wide. Root down through that left foot. We're going to come into half baby pose to start. So one more nice deep inhale here. And then as you exhale, start to bring that right knee up towards the shoulder. And I'm going to get you to take your right hand and wrap it around your shin and just kind of squeeze that in a little bit. Maybe pointing the knee off to about two o'clock. Yeah, good. Opening up that hip just a little bit. Keeping that right foot nice and flexed. So flex toes curling back. Yeah, yeah, flexed. Awesome. Good stuff. Kayla has really nice sparkly toes. You can't see it, but I get to see it. So <laughs> awesome. Good. Take one more deep inhale here. And then as you exhale, I'm going to get you to start to reach for the inside of that right foot with the right hand. Yeah, good. So if this is not something that's accessible for you, if you can't reach for the inside of the foot, um, you can always grab onto a pant leg. You can loop your peace fingers around your big toe. Um, Kayla, I'm going to get you to tuck your chin again. Yeah, good. Extend that crown of the head. And then on your next exhale, soften that right shoulder down to the mat. Perfect. Now Kayla's going to keep her left hip, so the hip that's attached to the foot that's still on the floor, rooting down into the mat. Nice. Take one more deep inhale here. And then I'm going to get you to hug that right knee into that right bicep as you start to draw the foot up closer towards the face, I guess you could say. Yeah, perfect. Good. So some of you might stop here. Some of you might have already stopped at the spot where you were holding your hand on your shin. And that's totally okay. Oh, Moonwort's coming to visit. You've got a cat on your head, just so you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, now, again, if this half baby pose is not accessible to you, you can always try doing it with a strap. So Kayla, I'm going to give you a strap here. I'm going to wrap the strap around your foot. You can either hold onto the strap with just the one hand, or you can take it in both hands and then start to kind of pull as if you were doing like, um, like a pull up to so pull that strap down keeping that foot flexed. Nice. And then that left hip still rooted on the floor. Perfect. How are you feeling, Kayla? Good. Awesome. No feelings of anger? Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Perfect. So again, this might be where some of you stop and that's totally cool. Um, now before we did started this video, Kayla and I had a little discussion and she was telling me that, um, part of, why she doesn't care for happy baby pose very much is because um, she feels that she's not very flexible. Um, and then when she tries to do it with a strap, she feels kind of off balance. So if you feel really off balance when you come into happy baby pose, I'm going to give a couple cues here. So I'm going to come around to the top of your head, Kayla, and just make sure that you've got some support at your shoulders. And I'm wearing a bra, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now everybody knows my secret. Um, <laughs> good. So I'm going to get you to loosen up on the straps just a little bit. Awesome. Take a nice deep inhale here. Remember to keep that tailbone tucked and that sacral area of the spine glued to the mat. And I'm going to get you to start to lift that left foot up and loop it into the strap here. Nice. Good. You can straighten the legs a little bit more if you need to. Perfect. 
Now feet are gonna stay nice and flexed here. I'm gonna get you to loosen up on the straps just a little bit. Yes, you can slide your hands down just a little bit more so there's very little tension on that strap. Good, and then I'm gonna get you to start walking your feet apart or spreading the feet apart. So it's almost like you're in like a horse stance as if you were standing on the ceiling. Nice, good. Now start to draw the feet a little bit closer to the face. Flex those toes. Yeah, perfect. Good. Take a nice deep inhale here. And as you exhale, start to pull that strap in. Knees can either go up towards the shoulders or out to about 2 and 10 o'clock. Yeah. Good. Keep breathing here. Keep that lower spine nice and flat on the mat. Tailbone extending towards that back wall. Nice. How are we feeling? Yay! One more deep inhale here. Nice. And then as you exhale, I'll get you to loosen the strap. Or just let it go. Yeah, and start to lower the feet down. Perfect. Let bring both feet down to the mat, about hip width apart. And then just kind of windshield wiper the knees back and forth. Awesome. Cool. So that was a couple different variations of happy baby pose. You can sit up if you would like. Yeah. Right on. Cool. So thank you so much for hanging out with us this week and for, uh, yeah, giving the, uh, thank you for giving a pose that you don't like a try. <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, yeah, stay tuned for next week. I actually will have my friend Brianna Ho on the vlog next week. We're filming it tomorrow. I'm really excited about it. It's going to be great. Um, yeah, so we'll see you then. Bye. Bye.